Our chief guest for today, Dr. Raymond Omolo, who is also the PS State Department of Internal Security and Credential Government Administration, the PS State Department of Early Learning and Basic Education, and the Biblio Kisom, Kipsang. Honorable Member of the Parliament, Honorable Jalash, Honorable Omundi Karoli, Honorable Gideon Ochanda, Honorable Tom Ojenda, Honorable Elisha, and Honorable Gindo, the County Director, Minister of Education for Homer Bay County, and all members of the Minister of Education present, OBM Chair, and all members of the Board of Management present, our PA Chair, our members of Alumni Association, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this chance to most sincerely welcome you to Beta High School for this occasion. When I guess I want to say, I want to take this chance to introduce to you our members of staff who, due to time constraint, I'll only call upon them to stand and wave before I make further remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly stand and wave. Thank you. Yes, I want to say these are the great ladies and gentlemen who have helped me to steer this school to where we are today. I want to take this chance to most sincerely thank you, as owner, sir, for honoring your promise. I want to thank you also for choosing to give back to your school. We also want to thank His Excellency, the President, for choosing one of our own to be in this very important office. Today marks a very important milestone in this our school, and we're looking for better more to come. I want to take this chance also to say briefly about our school. Meta High School was started in the year 1966 as a, a DAB school, what is today County Education Board sponsored school. Through the chief, the late chief Ajuang. The Kasmunga community donated land, 90 acres, on which the school was built. Before it was fully built, the school was located around Waondo Secondary. But upon, upon completion of the first four classrooms, the two dormitories, a dining hall and the kitchen, administration block, and a powerhouse, and one laboratory, and some few staff quarters, of houses, the school was transferred to the current location. We have grown in terms of population to the current 2,180 this year. And this has come with a few challenges, particularly staffing and uh, infrastructural challenges. The board chairman will highlight more. I want to also mention here, because of Onasa, that our results have been improving, most steadily, especially since the year 2019, where we moved from 7.4 in 2018 to 8.4 in 2019, then from 8.4 uh, to 8.9 in 2020, 8.9 to 9.157 in 2021, and 9.2 in the year 2022. In the year 2022, we managed to produce, for the first time this is school, two boys who scored 84 out of 84, with one of them, Roberto Carlos, emerging the best in the Republic. Yes, as well as I, we have seen, we have witnessed a trend where our students, in line with our 
status as a STEM school, that is science, technology, and, and uh, engineering and mathematics oriented school, in the last uh, four years, our top students have been leaning towards medical oriented courses. And the year 2021, we managed to have 21, 23 of our students admitted in our top universities in the Faculty of Health Sciences. That is Bachelor of, Science, Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery and Bachelor of Surgery, Bachelor of Pharmacy, Bachelor of uh, Clinical Medicine, Bachelor of Nursing, among others. That's to mention but a few. As I conclude my remarks, sir, we are looking forward to the continued partnership with the alumni association so that we can continue to lift our school to great heights. Thank you for coming. Thank you.